matchup. It's Baylor and Tennessee. For both teams, Tennessee trying to get back on track into the win column and leave Arlington, Texas with a 2-1 record, and Baylor looking for that first win. This one spanks pretty well to center, but Ty Johnson is all over it. In the dirt, it's bobbled a little bit, but then collected by Kaylee. He did well to stay with that play and throws Bargo out. By. Join us top of the next inning. This one's hit hard back up the middle. And a leadoff single for Enzo Apodaca. He's had a lot of good ABs and some good plays in the field. Just hadn't been rewarded, really, Pat. One for seven to start his Baylor career team in 2022. Hammered into the gap off the bat of Simmons. Extra bases and watch Apodaca fly. He's around third and will score without a throw. Hunter Simmons stays hot as Baylor strikes first. Bears chance to add to that lead. And Chops one to the left side. Moore the flip to Lori. The turn is not in time. Greer just beats it out on that slow chopper to the left side, and Baylor gets a second run home. Showing bunt. Tough play. Seekers comes off the mound, and the throw gets away. On the lefty lefty matchup, Baylor. Catches Tennessee off guard, and the runners end up at second and third on the throwing air by Sechrist. Starts because we're pretty hard on him in practice defensively, and um, oh, this ball's tagged pretty well. And extra, oh, is that caught in the field? He caught it. Wow, he did. Oh man, takes a hit away from your uh, guy, Bray uh, from uh, Billy Amick, coach. It's second time he's been robbed in the last two nights so far, but has as much raw power as anybody, and is rung up. Fastball catches the inside edge at 94 as Matheson reached back for a little extra. And Tyree Kemp was brought in this year for defense, one of those guys. And hey, right on cue, Tyree Kemp, a missile off the bat. And a base hit for Kemp. The Tennessee group that led the SEC in pickoffs last year. They had one last night. And as Cannon Peebles looks at his pitcher. Golf shot out to left, long run for Dryling. Looks up and it's gone. Harrison Kaylee hits it just over the left field wall, and Baylor responds with a solo homer. Well, solely focused on pitching, and the Bears think there'll be some improvements here. Good breaking ball there shown to strike out Dylan Dryling. Punch to the left side, another long run for Dryling, but he won't get there this time. Into the gap as Johnson comes up with the goods, chugging around second and into third, a two-run triple for Baylor. And it's two and two. On the inside, Black, so we set him up outside. Swing and a miss, Glatch gets his first strike out of the D1 level. Way out in front. Swing and a miss, gets him on the slider. How about that start for Mason Green? Had two hits in 19 at-bats as a freshman. Rockets one right at the third base when they look to turn two. The two and two, swung on and missed. Back to the fastball, this time Bargo can't make contact. Could do worse. Back to the left, he gets a change up for a strike, goes right back to it, and Cannon Peebles is out in front. Haley coming in, getting more of the playing time opening weekend with a high pop-up off the bat of Burke. Stays in the infield. It's Toplansky who makes the call and the catch. So right back here, next two weekends, it's chopped to the left side. Toplansky with the crow, throw across the diamond and retires Perry with more due up. Skies one down the first baseline. Long run for Buchanan and Greer. There's room and foul territory, and Greer makes the catch. Tennessee wins 11-5.